Welcome back to Southwest Florida. So thrilled to have Sassy. Sassy, what's your real name again? Rashonda is on our camera, doing a great job. A student here at Dunbar High School, I call her Sassy, because she got a shirt on that says Sassy. She's my assistant today. Try to remember Rashonda, Rashonda, Rashonda. This is Lee Pitts Live on Fox 4. We're here in the Dunbar High School Auditorium getting ready for a holiday musical. And parents and friends have come out to support the students and the arts and, and the uh, band and uh, the um, drama department. So let's get to meet some more people I just grabbed out the audience to. Uh, give me some comments. What's your name, sir? Jeff. Jeff, I think you said that you had a child in the play. And my daughter's singing in the, in the play. Let's give a little background on her, what grade she's in, that kind of thing. She's in the sixth grade. And what is she, you seen around the house rehearsing, or she's always been singing, or what? We, we've been doing karaoke for quite a few years, so she loves to sing. Well, you pr you're pretty happy to come out and see her perform? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm going to record it when, when it starts. Okay, now you got copyright infringement. Just kidding, just kidding, man. <laughs> hey, let me ask you this: um, Is that your only child, and, and is any other relatives here as well? Uh, she is. Not. I have two boys as well, but I don't get to see them. But um, my grandmother's going to be here, wow. and also uh, her stepmother's going to be here, and and a couple other people. Um, what is she planning on being when she grows up? She wants to be either a veterinarian or a teacher. All right, we'll come back to you for a couple of more comments. And uh, uh, your name and what brings you here tonight? My name is Candace, and my daughter Lacey Fox plays a French horn in ah, okay. Fort Myers Middle Academy. All right, so we got somebody from the Middle Academy. At that young age, she's already playing the French horn. If I'm not mistaken, that's a pretty complicated instrument to play, isn't it? Yeah, it is. She played the oboe in sixth grade, and she wasn't a fan of it. But when she moved to... Sarasota, she did the French horn, and she said, I think this instrument was made for me, and I agree. And it takes a lot of support with, for the children. Uh, do you see her practicing around the house as well? Yes, she practices a lot. <laughs> it a doesn't lot. keep you awake? Or just like, hey. No, it's beautiful. She does a really good job. Right. Do you find that being in the arts, and I'll bring that question to you as well, do you all think that being in the arts and singing and performing and playing instruments really helps them concentrate and, um, uh, in turn, and also contributes to them making uh, better grades in school? Of course I do. I think music, you know, gives great positive reinforcement to them okay. and I think it helps them maintain a very good grade. Now who who is here along with you? Are you here by yourself to, to support her or you got other family members? I'm here, here? by myself tonight. Uh, that's, that's just fine. <laughs> You've been doing a lot of supporting over the years, huh? Yes, sir. <laughs> Same question to you. The, uh, the being in the arts and performing like this, does it contribute to the academics as well, you think? Yes, because it, it brings confidence. Confidence, discipline, and it just helps them overall and like have fun and have joy and peace. You know what I mean? Just so that she loves doing it. Right. Now you, what was the name of the middle school you were with? She's Fort Myers with, Middle Academy. Right. Fort Myers Middle Academy. Um, I think this is the first time they combined the two to work together on, on this. Uh, yes, it is. I think that's a great thing, huh? It is a really great thing. Uh, the, uh, to your understanding, what's, what are we going to witness on the stage tonight? What do you think? Um, she hasn't told me much because she wants to keep it a surprise, but she said it's going to be some great music playing. Did she act like she was nervous or she just excited? No, she's really excited. This is her second year playing a French horn, and she's pretty confident. How about on your end? Any, any nervousness? A little bit, but she was more excited than anything. How about you as a parent? Are you kind of nervous as a parent? A little bit, yeah. <laughs> what do you have to say to the schools? And the people who are all the people who are associated with this for putting on something like this for the community. Thank you very much for all your hard work and dedication for the students. Um, because of you, they're able to achieve wonderful things and the support from the parents. Okay. Do you think that this is uh, something that's needed and uh, needs to continue? And uh, what do you uh, do? You have uh, any positive things to say about having something like this as well? I I agree with with her that this is a a good thing and we we thank them for doing this and they the kids look forward to doing these things mm -hmm. you know getting out and bringing bringing music to the community and just bringing everybody together yes okay well well you guys have made it through this <laughs> thanks for being good sports and coming up and uh, sharing some comments here at Dunbar High School Auditorium as we start to prepare for the main event which will be the holiday play that's taking place we'll be right back we good